Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about what the relationship between various polymer properties and the molecular weight of polymers are. So just quickly remember that the molecular weight of polymers are generally described as averages such as the number average molecular weight and the weight average molecular weight. The reason we use averages with polymers is because all polymer molecules in a sample are not going to be all the exact same size. If you want to learn more about this, I will post a video in the description below to help your understanding on how we can understand the molecular weight of a polymer sample. Alright, so let's get to the core of this video. Let's talk about the effects a polymer's molecular weight has on its properties. Let's imagine we have two polymer samples of the same polymer. However, one has a very high average polymer chain length and therefore a higher molecular weight and the other has a lower average polymer chain length and therefore a lower molecular weight. In our first sample, do you think the polymers are going to be more or less mobile when subjected to some force? Well, with the larger length polymers, they have less mobility when subjected to a force. So, this polymer sample is going to be much tougher than the lower molecular weight sample. So, some physical properties that will increase as the molecular weight of our polymer sample increases are the impact strength, which is how much energy our polymer can withstand when a given force is instantly applied to it, the tensile strength, how well the polymer resists being pulled apart, its melting temperature, which makes sense as in liquids, the molecules are flowing around one another, and as we minimize the amount of space around our polymers, the more energy they will need to overcome that barrier. The toughness of our polymer will also increase, which is a polymer's resistance to fracture and deformation. Another great property that is added by larger molecular weights is the creep resistance, which is a type of deformation that can occur over time when subjected to a consistent force. Although many of the aforementioned properties are great for many applications, there are some disadvantages to larger molecular weight polymer samples. As the molecular weight of our polymer samples increase, the difficulty in processing them increases as they are much less mobile and harder to manipulate. The reasoning for this is the viscosity of the polymer increases with chain length. Therefore, we can more easily process lower molecular weight polymers. So, in conclusion, there is no general rule for if it's better to have a polymer with longer average chain length or shorter ones. The biggest influence over the ideal chain size is the application of your polymer sample. So let's say you're testing a polymer's ability to absorb an impact, and your polymer keeps breaking below the acceptable threshold. Well, to fix this problem, you may consider increasing the average polymer molecular weight so that its impact strength is increased. You could also consider other polymer additives to increase the strength, however, this is a topic for another video. Thank you for checking out this video and I hope it helped your understanding of how the properties of a polymer are altered depending on the molecular weight of that polymer sample. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.